Hi everybody, this is Nate Longshore here. I'm going to be talking about the Sidekicks by Eon Sports. This is me up here. This was me in my younger, thinner, more handsome days. Uh, this is me now. Uh, for the last four years I've been coaching at Santa Margarita Catholic High School in Orange County, California. This is some of our guys on signing day. Congrats to those guys. Um, back to the uh, Sidekicks program. What happens is when you open it up, it'll look like this. I guess I'm going to give you a little background on uh, the company. Eon Sports is a virtual reality company. They approached me about a year and a half ago. They've been building virtual reality and software based products since 1995. So about a year and a half ago they reached out to me and said, hey, we want to take all of our software and virtual reality experience, apply it to sports, create something that's interactive and, and uh, enjoyable for you know today's demographic so about a year and a half ago they reached out to me showed me their product it was pretty cool it was uh need a little bit more work and development so they've been working hard at it uh the end of 2013 they said okay we think we're done we've got something that uh, we think we're on to here so i went and i checked out the what they had at their irvine or their corporate office in irvine really liked what i saw and i immediately said hey i want to be involved with you guys and you know i think this is a a great way for developing players to to get better so they created this product sidekicks um, it's a software product that uh, should revolutionize the way players train and develop so from the home screen here just like your other play builders as you open it up it just opens up with 11 guys for offense 11 for defense you know you move these guys into place put them where you want them throw these guys into a trip set here maybe put them in the gun right we'll just do a real simple simple route here send them to the flat we'll put these guys on goes right and for the sake of uh, the length of this video let's pretend I've uh, moved all these guys into place after a few minutes you'll end up with an you know with a route a play looks something like this we've all seen this all types of different uh, play builders throughout the years from here this tab up here on the right you can click that you can now go in and you can edit your players attributes so uh, maybe I click on number 80 over here instead of running a 449 maybe he runs a 475 right um, right here number 89 he's a little bit quicker instead of 449 he runs a 46 now I don't have to edit their attributes I can leave the default settings um, and these guys will run you know the default settings and the plays will still function all the same but uh, I like to make it a little bit more realistic a little bit more similar to, to the guys I actually have or the guys I'm playing against so after a couple minutes putting in your attributes you then end up with a uh, a play and along the bottom you can slide this bar and you can see where exactly these guys are going to be depending on the attributes they have and if you don't like a certain mesh point or you don't like the landmarks I can easily adjust and that should clean up make the read a little bit easier for the quarterback you know get the guys exactly where you want them to be from there I instantly have or the play is instantly rendered into 3D. So this is a normal sideline cut. We've all seen this and exchanged this on huddle, right? Sideline cut. From there, we've got. Uh, I can go to the rear cut back here. The other side. Maybe I want to zoom in for this uh, Mike linebacker and say, hey. What's what's the pat what's the set there? It's a pass set. Well he's showing ball, but it's a pass set, definitely a pass. Let's retreat. So these guys have pretty good reaction times here. They're uh, getting to their pass their pass drops rather quickly. So any position, any possible camera angle, I can zoom out, zoom in, rotate, zoom back, anything I want, and play the play and see the different angles I can even go in and I can click on certain players and give it'll give me a, 
a helmet cam of that player. So I could click on the quarterback. This will be his the view from his helmet. So as the play runs, this is what he's seeing. He's seeing the pressure. He's, there goes the running back in front of him. Right? Maybe we're coaching uh, linebackers, and we can click on the linebacker. And, okay, I saw a pass set, so I'm going to retreat. Okay, or maybe, uh, like I said, receivers. You can click on a receiver. This is what he's going to see. You know, we've got an outside backer here. Strong safety, outside leverage. Okay, as he as I run my route, he's dropping to the flat. I'm probably, yep, I'm covered. All right, but if I continue, maybe he'll carry and I'll be open in the flat. So any different camera angle you could think of, you've got the 2D view where you can see the landmarks and placements. But really what changes uh, what changes everything is the virtual reality component. Um, I'm going to actually have this company explain it better than I. So bear with me for a minute while uh, I started. In the past, I've looked at these VR headsets and head-mounted displays, and this is the first one that I've seen that I was truly impressed with. There's a lot of great head-mounted displays out there, but they're all really, really expensive, up to over $100,000. What the Rift does is it makes a high-end virtual reality experience available to the average gamer. So most consumer head-mounted displays have a diagonal field of view of about 30 or 40 degrees. You see a really small image way off in the distance, and it doesn't make you feel like you're there. With the Oculus Rift, you get a diagonal field of view of 110 degrees. That means you're not looking at a screen anymore. You actually feel like you're inside of the world. You don't see the screen when you put it on your eyes, and that just changes the whole ballgame. One of the biggest problems with virtual reality up to this point is latency. The benefit of the Rift is that it's designed to be really, really low latency. So rather than looking like this and you turn your head and then it follows, it actually follows with your view no matter what you do. There are two reasons why this... So that's a little bit about the Oculus Rift, just to uh, help you understand when they uh, put this, when I put in the quarterback here, and I put him into first person and put him in the Oculus Rift mode, I actually have this headset on a uh, player here. So as he puts this on, we're going to click on a position, quarterback, first person, and now... He can actually look around within that play that we diagrammed, right? He can look all the way behind him. But now within that play we've diagrammed, he can actually run that play from his position. We'll do a, uh, we'll do a little trial run here. We'll have a quarterback, first person. All right, so as we run this play, here comes the... Bam, there we go. We've got the guy in the flat being covered. We've got the seam to number two open. That's where I'd want to throw this ball. Now we can also do it from the defensive perspective. So let's go in. Let's now put our guy at secondary, first person. Now we're playing safety. We run the play. He looks around. He sees number two is going vertical. That's He knows he needs to get over and get to number two. So any position on the field, you can now put them into the game. Really cool experience. The players can move around, look around. Wherever their head looks, that's where their vision is. This is actually his right eye projection. This is his left eye projection. When you view them together, it creates virtual reality. So this is the 2D mode, the 3D mode, and the Oculus mode all those views included with this program. This is just a little bit about what the program can do. I have a few other videos. Some will talk about how you get the content in, how easy it is to go back and forth. I mean, we could run this play versus a, uh, you know, maybe I have it right here versus a 4-3, cover 3, but I'd like to see it versus a cover 2. So now it's just against a 4-3, cover 2. I can go to the 3D mode. Instead of my quarterback seeing it as a cover three, now it's versus a cover two. He knows he's got whole shots either side. Right, so there's content management. There's uh, how 
I've got a video on how teams are implementing it now with their playbooks, right? You go from a playbook type of explanation to a video type of explanation to in-game view, coach what's it going to actually look like come game time. So some real cool stuff. Get a hold of me if you want to know more. There's pricing structures of, that kind of fit with any budget, really. Um, it's real similar to Huddle. Let me know. Nate Longshore. Talk to you later.